how to buy lava token, how to swap lava token, how to stake lava token, and other questions that arise in the lava discord community. My name is Pavel and I am crypto sellers validator. Let's get started. So, before buying lava token, I suggest to understand the project which we are buying and subsequently staking. For your convenience, there are a timestamp and all necessary links under this video. Lava Network is a project designed to help developers build their project in the Web3 space by providing decentralized RPC nodes. Lava Network offers a large number of networks for Web3 developers, so developers don't need to set up their own infrastructure for their projects. Instead of this, developers can simply use endpoints from the Lava Network and connect it to their project. These endpoints are provided by the providers from the Lava Network, which are fully decentralized. Each provider manages their own node and uh, performs all necessary tasks to keep the nodes operational. Let's return to the main topic of this video, Lava Network Token. Lava Network Token launched at 30 of July 2024. As of the recording of this video, the Lava Network Token can be purchasing only on the DEX exchanges specifically Uniswap and Osmosis. I will go through each of them separately and after that we will stake our Lava token to earn additional income. First, let's figure out what do you need. From the one side you need the Metamask and Kepler wallet. From the other side you need the Discord. So, I assume that everybody of you have Metamask and I will not show how to download it. But anyway, so if you don't have uh, Metamask, you can find it in the links below this video. First, I will start with the Uniswap and I will try to buy a Lava token uh, from the DEX. On the main page Lava Network, just scroll down and you need to find out um, this uh, picture. So here is a find on Uniswap and bridge and swap. Just click find on Uniswap. Will be appear a new page uh, with the with uh, with the possibility of the trade. So here on the top right corner is button connect. Connect your MetaMask wallet. Let's try to connect it. Right now I connect my MetaMask wallet and what you should understand that uh, Lava Network are tradable on the Arbitrum network. So um, here we need to change the network from Ethereum to the Arbitrum. Just click like this and switch network. So after that um, here is the trading pair. Lava Network is tradable for the Ethereum and here is button swap. Just click on it. And you can configure out uh, from what to what you want to exchange. Um, in my case, I have USDT on my balance. It's about uh, 10 USDT. And I would like to buy Lava token. Just click maximum. And this is the quantity of the Lava token which I will take. Um, so what you need to do is only click on button swap and pay commission. You should understand that for the paying of commission you should have about uh, 10 cents of the Ethereum on your wallet. If I will open my MetaMask you can see that I have a little bit Ethereum for the commission. I think it will be enough. Let's get try it. Okay, just click on button swap. Swap and approve and swap. We need to confirm all of this. So this is the gas fee approved. Sign. Confirm. Successful swapped. So I have 91 lava tokens. Um, it's appeared here on the bottom, but on the MetaPask it is um, not visible because the Lava token is not added. Actually, we don't need it because from this moment we need to swap uh, Lava network from Arbitrum to the Cosmos network. But in any case, if you would like to see these uh, tokens uh, in your MetaMask wallet, just go on these three buttons on the top right corner, uh, open the view on explorer will be open the new pages here drop down this tab and find axel rapid lava open this page 
Here you can find a smart content which you need to copy, after that you should proceed to the metamask and insert this token in your wallet. Just put import tokens and insert. Other tabs will be filled out automatically and click next. Import. That's it, right now your lava token is in your metamask, but this is not uh, important so you can skip this step. So right now we need to send all lava token from the Arbitrum network to the lava network. For this reason you should proceed to the squid router and do swap. So I will go to the app.squidrouter.com, this link you can find under this video. And right now we should connect bots or wallets, so Kepler wallet and Metamask. So here we should insert correct um, data, it is Arbitrum, uh, chain Arbitrum and token it will be Lava. Uh, here we need to find Lava and Lava. Click here at address and connect your Kepler wallet. I will send all of them. Give permission to use tokens. And let's go. Submit again. Oh. I don't have enough Ethereum on my wallet, so I need to top up it. Okay, second change. Uh, just now I top up my main wallet with uh, Ethereum. I sent about one buck, something like this. And um, let's get started again. Just click submit and confirm in the wallet. The processing will be take about the 30 minutes, uh, so just from the moment we need to wait. So what you can do, it's uh, open your Kepler wallet, uh, connect them, and after that um, you can search here just by Lava. And uh, check the status here, so here will be about 91 tokens after 30 minutes, something like this. Cappuccino, low sugar. Not bad. Completed. So let's check Kepler wallet um, here. Lava and I see 91 token Lava. So from this moment we finish transfer tokens from the Arbiter network to the Lava network. And I will show you the second way how to buy Lava token. But for this we need the Asmosis application. It is also DEX. Let's go to the app. .asmosis.zone. Uh, here we need to connect wallet, uh, the button will be somewhere here. And you need to connect the Kepler wallet. Proceed to the swap, so here is my USDC token. You also can exchange other uh, kinds of uh, your assets, for example, uh, Atom, Axelar or something else. Um, I will choose USDC to the lava. Just click on the maximum and I will get 89 tokens. Okay, swap. Uh, buy tokens from the Osmosis is the simplest way, in my opinion. Transaction successful. Okay, let's go to the portfolio and check. So yes, I see 90 tokens uh, of the Lava network. Right now, click on button withdraw. Withdraw Lava. Approve. Yes, and here the gas fee will use from the Osmosis token. So you should ensure that you have on your wallet uh, Osmosis. Okay, right now in my Kepler wallet it should be a little bit more of the Lava token. So it is 189. And from this moment we can start staking. Let's proceed to the website stakerewards.com. Here is button stake now. Here we need to connect again our wallet. So my Kepler wallet already connected. And um, here choose from Ethereum to the Lava. 
so i see here 151 tokens here we can choose the provider pair uh, provider already set up automatically by the stake rewards so stake sito yes uh, and but i would like to choose other provider i will choose the provider crypto sellers just go on button add provider pair and here is all proved provider so i will choose this guy crypto sellers click ticket here and continue to validator so now need to add provider pair i will also choose crypto sellers uh, by search engine so crypto sellers add provider pair continue to stake up it's not allowing me to stake because because of this gentleman so i need to delete this gentleman and after that probably i can proceed yeah stake lava so here is the reward rate click stake lava you are delegating approve congratulations you have successfully delegated 108 lava so go to the terminal here in the terminal uh, i see my holdings so actually what i'm gonna see here so this is my lava staking it is available balance in my kipler wallet uh, here is the claimable rewards you see my rewards are going up so actually i can claim this reward each minute each hour at any time that i like so just click claim and your assets will become here so just let's refresh the page and probably the amount of the commissions and amount of the staking rewards will be a little bit higher yeah so right now is uh, zorix 6 how to unstake your assets currently i see that it's not possible to unstake from the staking rewards.com but you can go to the wallet.kepler.app and unstake it from these applications. I will show you how it works. So let's go to the wallet.kepler.app. On these pages on the top right corner you can again connect your wallet from here and after that you should proceed to the dashboard and staking. In the staking automatically will appear are your stakings in the Cosmos ecosystem including the Lava network which we stake through the staking rewards. Go to the crypto sellers um, and um, here you can see the new tab and uh, yeah just go to the unstake. And here is the reminder that uh, unstaking uh, will proceed during the 21 days. So what does it mean? This means that all your assets which you request for the unstaking will be appear in your Kepler wallet after 21 days. And you will not earn any rewards for this. Okay, so um, I will just click maximum and click button unstake. Now we need to approve a transaction. And that's it unstaking in progress available in 21 days so actually you can come in the kipler wallet dashboard in the cosmos ecosystem it is the main dashboard actually and you can check how many days left uh, till your assets will come back to the your wallet and if you would like to sell your lava uh, tokens you just need to repeat the same ways but vice versa which i did in the beginning of the video